Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas. Today I have for you another Fashion Nova curve haul, except this time I dove a little bit more into dresses, a little bit less into like swimwear and stuff. I do also have some casual things, uh, but I don't know about you, I'm being invited to more things now. <laughs> and so I needed um, a couple of like slightly more formal options, but then also just kind of like flirty night out looking outfits. So I try to get a little variety. We're gonna try them on together and see how they worked out. Um, there's one that I'm especially excited about that I might wear to my friend's wedding. We're gonna see, okay? Um, Cause I'm not trying to spend like, I mean, I'm in the wedding, okay? <laughs> but I'm still not trying to spend like mad money on a dress. So. All the stuff is from Fashion Nova, like I said. Uh, they are sponsoring today's video and I will have links to absolutely everything down below. You guys can go check it out, see what new stuff they have. You know, they always have like a million different items. Let's get into some girly things. This is the Hello Darling Mesh Skirt Set Size 2X Mint, Mint, Minty Color. Yes, I wasn't sure how it was gonna look on me. Um, you know, because like on the website, things always look a little different, you know what I'm saying? And then like, I don't look like a model, right? I look like a me. So that's fine, right? I, normally I can visualize. This one I couldn't quite visualize. Like, cause sometimes when I do mock necks, turtlenecks, stuff that's above the chest, it's a little much for me. <laughs> um, I'm a little more petite up here. And so I like to have a little bit less coverage, typically. This one, I feel like it works. I feel like it works. It's so like airy and breezy, like because the sleeves don't have a lining on it, right? It's just the mesh part, but the chest obviously has a lining. It's also ruched, so it's giving you boobs, even though like I'm giving you like boobs, you know what I mean? So it's giving you like bold boobs, and I'm more of like italic boobs. So I love it, I love it. It does have a zipper on the back, but I just squeeze my big old head right through the neck hole. <laughs> like, I can't get it off that way unless I want everything to go with it. Um, but I'm thinking with, Maybe like a, oh, you know what? Even just a slick back on the front and then maybe like, I don't know, but definitely like a slick back look. I think if you have too much hair, it's gonna overpower what's going on. But if I were to slick this back, wouldn't this kind of be like a little look, a little looky poo, right? So the skirt is also ruched down the sides and down the back. <laughs> and it does have a lining underneath um, which you can see there and the lining you can kind of adjust and you can kind of push the whole skirt down or up a little kind of up to you The waist is really comfortable. It's stretchy, but it does have a Zipper on the back. I thought so. I didn't even need the zipper like the waist was stretchy enough to go over my hips and butt um, Perfectly fine. It wasn't ripping seams or anything. So it's really comfortable very stretchy very you know easy and breezy and I think I told you guys, like the, the wedding that I have to go to here really soon, um, it's an outdoor wedding and it's gonna be hot. <sighs> it is gonna be so hot that I need an outfit that is like, oh my gosh, so pretty, congratulations, or so, you know what I mean? Like up there, like in, in some class, but like also I'm gonna be sweating my booty off and I just need something to kind of conceal that. And so with this, with the slick back hair and the, this might be it. Catch photos of me on the gram in like a couple of weeks. This is probably gonna be it. This one's cute. 2X fits me like a glove. Love it. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Also real quick, just Sarah and her element here. For those of you that are curious, I mean my bra is my bra, but this is what I wear underneath pretty much everything, okay? When I have like professional photo shoots, when I whatever, I am too old and too bothered at this point to do the full on body suits, to do the the like knee to boob or over the shoulder like shapers, it's too much. It is too much for real life me. So I wear a little shape, this is it. She comes just above the belly button. If I need her to, she can go a little bit under the belly button. And I have another one that is ever so slightly higher that if I really need her to, she can go up underneath my bra. These are very affordable. It's just a shaper short. This one is a full booty coverage, so you'll have a little booty line. Um, and there's also thong versions. If you're someone who's like, oh, I want a little bit of coverage underneath like these dresses and stuff from Fashion Over, they're so cute and everything, but I just want like a little bit of suction without feeling like oh, I'm so uncomfortable, I can't wait to like go home and take off my, you know, my undergarments basically. So this is what I wear, this is my style. Just so you know, everyone always asks, this is it. And if any of this part of me is showing, I probably don't have anything on. Actually, let me show you. Listen, I spend a lot of time on the internet, okay? According to my screen time. Um, I, I see people trying a lot of clothes and I'm like, that is cute as hell or you look so good. 
but where would you ever go in that? And so I saw this dress on a lot of girls, right? And I was like, you guys look fires. I want it, I want it, I wanted it so bad. So I hopped online and I said, boop, 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 give it to me. Okay, it came. And I was like, is this gonna be one of those dresses that people can only wear on Instagram when they're posed? Because if they like move another inch, they, their whole vagina's out. It's not, it is surprisingly not. And I am just so excited about this dress. So it is super stretchy, okay? I took this with me on my little trip, but I mentioned the bloating. Yeah, okay, this is not the, tr this, you don't wear this when you feel like, right, Aunt Flo came to town, she was early. Bitch got global entry, okay? She's got global entry, I didn't know that, all right? I was out of town and she was still like, Nye. I was like, okay, cool, how many pesos for a box of tampons, thank you. Uh, so, no, I didn't end up wearing it, but I will wear it. Like, this is definitely something I would wear out into the world because despite the fact that it looks really sexy, very like, you know, my whole leg is out, clearly a lot of my um, midriff here is out, the rest of it is very much, covered it's a double layer it has this like sort of sheen to it i have a regular that say bra i have it on it's just tucked right now most likely uh when i wear this i will wear cutlets so just like um a cutlet down here that sticks so just to kind of lift my boob and round it out still that's probably what i would do but this bra is fully covered not a big deal you could wear a real bra or a strapless bra shouldn't be an issue whatsoever um because there's still more room here over the uh the what is this called when it's not your stomach but it's like above it but it's not your boob ribs yeah does this feel torso okay there's more <laughs> material on the torso and then i still have that shaper panty on you can see it a little bit down here what i would do is this is the the one that i have with a pink undertone so it's it's very noticeable that I have a shaper on when you look at it against my skin. Um, I have one with the neutral undertone where I could get away for sure with wearing that one, but what I would most likely do is just wear my black one so that if you saw a little bit of it or you know when I sit down like maybe some of it comes out like this, almost looks like I don't have one on for a second. Um, but I would just wear a black one just so that if someone were to see you know, <laughs> my uh, panty or whatever, it wouldn't be a big deal, just kind of be part of the outfit. So otherwise, like it's just knotted here and that's it. The bitch, this makes me feel like somebody. Like, this makes me feel so good about like my body, right? Things have been changing lately. We all know how like, you know, your brain's here and then it's there and I'm cute and then I'm not and then I'm this and I'm that. This just has me feeling like, yes, bitch. You're so cute. Don't even, girl, don't even trip. You're so cute. Don't even worry about it. That's how this makes me feel. So. If you are at all on the fence about trying this one out, if you're the type of person who would wear this, I say give it a shot. Give it a shot, baby, baby. Okay, I got this one in a 2X as well. This I feel like is a classic. If you don't have this or like some little version of this in your closet, feel free to, to, to add it to cart today, okay? Because I feel like no matter who I see wearing this style of dress, like I said, 2X, stretchy, like kind of a, it's like a rib knit basically. It has a little uh, ties here so you could loosen or you know tighten it if you want. This is just how it came. I love the little ruffly kind of hem. Uh, it's cute, right? It's so cute, so comfortable. No matter who I see wearing this and however they style it, whether they go up with heels and you know a fancy bag and just the jewelry and all that, or they kind of dress it down and they go with like sneakers, maybe like um, a cap or something like a baseball hat. However they wear it, it's always so cute. Whatever the color is, it's always so cute. I've never seen someone wear this style or this dress and not look adorable in it. It's just, I feel like it fits a lot of different body types. Even though it is a bodycon dress, it's gonna basically form to whatever your body looks like already. Uh, but it's just always so cute. I think it's just because it has sleeves, but it's also off the shoulder. And I just love this area on anybody. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe I just love this. I love seeing this out in the open on people. like. And I love a sleeve, so it's really cute. 2X is a great fit for me. I could have done a 1X if I felt like stretching it. You know what I'm saying? Like I could have. So if I was like, oh, there's only one X left, I would have bought the 1X. Uh, but no, they had a 2X, so <laughs> room to grow. This is another one I saw on all the girls on the web. And I was like, I want to be like them. They're so cute. I was sure, just even right now putting this on, I was sure this one was not going to work for me. Got it in a size 2X. It's real cute. It's got the little like hanging, you know, top up here. I went ahead and slid my straps off and then I ended up just kind of tucking them because of the strap here. And I will be damned, my friends. It's still, it still works. It works. 
even with this bra again I would do cutlets just because like I had cutlets on all last week while I was um shooting and stuff I had these cutlets on and I was like Pish. the best part of having like a smaller chest is that it doesn't really need to be controlled mine just kind of needs to be shaped and stuck to my chest that's it that's all she needs and I will never turn back. I, as soon as I'm done filming this, one of my rewards is going online and buying a bunch of cutlets, okay? Like sticky cut, girl. Th 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 these are what's, you know, this is, this is, these are the priorities that I have in my life. So this fits great. Okay, obviously we have another slit, not nearly as high <laughs> as the previous one. Definitely about mid thigh. Again, the dress is fully stretchy and it has two layers. So I'm holding one and there's another one beneath um, can I grab it? There's another one beneath. So this one has a little bit more shape to it. It's a little bit more fitted. And then this has more of a silky kind of feel to it on top. So they are separate, um, which is nice because the bottom one is sucking you in a little bit, giving you a little bit, you know, of shape and form. And then the top one is kind of just doing what it needs to do so that you look very shapely, but you don't look like you're wearing a super duper tight dress. As far as the straps go, this is the part that I thought was not gonna work for me. Um, they are a little bit out to the side, which I thought was gonna feel uncomfortable, but actually what it did is it covered up that like little um, extra part that you usually have like above your bra, like in your armpit right there, covered that right up as you can see. And then I thought it was gonna be falling all the time because of the way it's designed, but it's totally comfortable. Maybe I could see myself adjusting if I was really going to town, but overall, this is a fully functional wearable dress. Girl, I didn't expect it. Okay, do you guys follow Amrezi, Amrezi? I'm not sure how to say it. I, I love her content, right? Like she's such an elevated, like, when I think of the word influencer, I think of her, period, okay? She is just up, she just, her content is just elevated, all right? Anyway, 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 anyway. So she recently posted a photo of her in uh, like a zebra print dress and then there were a bunch of zebras behind her. Which is, let me find a cage full of lions. Just kidding, tigers. Let me do it. Eh, 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 you like that meat, huh? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> if you saw the photo, you know the reference. But this is probably the first dress that I would say is actually running a little bit too big on me. I did tighten this area because you can kind of adjust and tie it, you know tighter or looser as you want. It is a dress, so the pieces are together, but we have a cutout here in the center. Um, like I said, it's not like too, too big, like I couldn't wear it, but definitely running a little bit looser on me, and it's long, so that's my real problem, <laughs> is that I'm a little bit short, I think, for this dress, because if it was actually down kind of where it's supposed to be, there, right? That's pretty much how it is. For me, it's just gonna hit a little bit too long, but I think actually otherwise, it fits pretty well, so, I would just tailor it. I would just take it up a few inches. Tailoring is really not a very expensive thing to do to your clothes. You can literally go to your dry cleaner and tell them what you want, right? <laughs> and um, I get things tailored for like 10 or $15, um, but it, it makes your clothes look so much better when you tailor them to your body. I have so many clothes that it's not often that I tailor clothes, but when I do, I never get rid of them. I, I keep them forever and ever because they are now tailored perfectly to my body, to my height, to my waist, to my butt, to my arms, to my chest, to my back, to my neck, whatever it might be. So if there are clothes that you're like, oh, I wish that, you know, this is a little too like this or too like this, seriously, just kind of start taking the time of, instead of maybe buying two items, buy one and then tailor it. <laughs> and I bet, you will wear it more often once it is tailored to your body. Or of course, pick up sewing and <laughs> learn how to tailor yourself. I would love to do that. That's seriously like bucket list item. I would love to remember kind of how to properly sew. I do have a sewing machine, but you know, it, it makes a difference, right? So like this dress would fit even better if it was a little bit more tapered on the bottom. So those are just my two cents on tailoring. I do think it really elevates an outfit. I still haven't put my hardware on. I have tape back here. But we're starting back here because we're wearing some shoes this time. I wanted to try out the sort of, uh, you know, just monochromatic look. So the shoes are, they're so cute. I'll take them off and show them to you a little bit closer up. I didn't put them on all the way. <laughs> I didn't like tighten them properly. But then they go with the dress, obviously. This dress is a little warm. It's more of a sweatery kind of material. So a little bit more of a sweater dress, maybe if you're like going somewhere and it's like kind of a cooler night. Um, a lot of extra material, I would say, on the sleeve because it is meant to be off the shoulder. So it's ruffled on top. But then for me, 
again, <laughs> if I was like, oh, I love this dress so much, I wanna wear it out every night, like I would tailor the sleeves because for me, they're too long. And I mean, that's, it's always better to have things be too long than to be too short, obviously, because you can only do what you can do. You can't like make fabric up here. Uh, but otherwise, the fit is really good. So it's a 2X, it's a it's perfect fit around uh, my waist, my chest and everything. And well, there's probably extra room. So if you have bigger boobs, don't worry about it. You definitely have some room in here. But let me show you the shoes up close. So they wrap around um, the ankle one time. And while my feet are not necessarily wide, my ankle on my left side is. So it is a wide ankle and they fit, they, they fit fine. I still had like, um, I put it on too tight, but I had more little holes available still in case I wanted to loosen it, which I should have. But anyway, the shoe itself has a nice little block heel on it and it's triangular, that's different for me. Um, and then the toe is, it's like squared off, but it's also curved. So it's a very interesting look. And with my little white toes, I think it's pretty cute. Um, but it gives you a nice surface to kind of walk and keep steady and stable. So definitely if you ever like struggle walking in heels and stuff, try out block heels. We'll start with like wedges, espadrille, stuff like that. But then go into like block heels and you're gonna feel very secure and stable when you walk. Just make sure, for me, I, I like to have ankle straps. Anything around my ankle, something to secure my foot in there. I don't like the ones that are just like this, just a sandal. No, my toes gotta do too much work, girl. They do not wanna do that, okay? So <laughs> I like the ones that are gonna strap around my leg and ankle, and they're gonna kinda keep me in there. But these are really, really cute. I like them a lot. Look at this dress. Okay, look, again, remember, the wrong bra, right? It's a little loose on the upper half for me. But this is the dress that I was talking about that I think could really be a contender. Um, I'm the maid of honor at my best friend's wedding, right? Been best friends for 20 years. She did tell all of us not to wear sequins or gems and rhinestones and stuff, but that's my best friend. And so, no, she actually, she saw me put this on over my clothes the other day and she was like, that might be it. I was like, bitch, right? This might be it. She's like, yeah, that might be it. It's a little open. Like for somebody else's big day, you know what I'm saying? Like me standing up, they're like, what's, what's that? I don't care that. I don't care that. Hey, officiant, get the, get out of the, get out of the way. They're doing the, the kiss thing now. Look at, what do you think? I don't know. This might be a little much, but the dress itself is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. Remember a few years ago when I threw an adult prom? Just to like give everyone in my life, just, I mean, it was a whole thing, but I just want to give everybody a chance to like go to prom with like their spouses and stuff and it was so cute just seeing like everybody I loved and cared about just like at this big ass party just for no reason basically but to see everybody dressed up and excited and having fun and drinking whatever it was great like I bought a dress somewhat similar to this and it cost me like six hundred dollars this one ain't nowhere near it okay and it is much more comfortable it's so pretty I would just get the uh, top taken in ever so slightly, but otherwise I have no qualms. This is an absolutely beautiful dress. And even as I'm walking around and playing these games, I see not a single sequin on the floor. So we love it, we love it, we love it. It's so cute. I love the way that they did the body, the fact that it kind of like, you know, kind of goes over to one side. So, so freaking cute. Now sequins do get a little bit annoying under the arms. So the anti-chafe cream that I put on my thighs so that I don't get like chub rub or whatever. I don't like calling it that. But so that my thighs, you know, don't chafe. Um, I would also put it underneath my arms so that it doesn't really chafe on the, um, the sequins. But otherwise, what a beautiful dress. Can't tell me nothing in this dress. This is a cute ass dress. Stop it, go get one. Stop it. It's so pretty. Look at it. Look how much material there is. We just got layers, girlfriend, and it's long, once again, too long for me, but easier to take away length than to add it. The waist is very much like structured, secured, it's in there. I pulled this on over my head and then I put it over my um, shoulder. So we have like a strap right here, uh, just like kind of your basic strap, I'll show you in the back. And it is adjustable, mine should be adjusted, but I have not adjusted it yet. It does have a zipper closure in the back and like I said, it's got multiple layers. Very pretty, flowy. This is like a beautiful dress. And then you take these and you can go ahead and toss them back. And now when you walk, right, Let's walk. Now when you walk, like you got kind of this whole extra moment, baby. I'm sure you could tie those any which way as well. You could convert this, you could tie them across, you can do whatever you want. 
you know, I need a different bra or cutlets, as we mentioned 12 times already. Um, this is so beautiful. This is really pretty. So again, it would benefit from a tiny tinkering and tailoring for me, uh, but these dresses are so affordable. For someone who, look, I look for dresses and I look for fancier stuff all the time. I don't typically share them um, just because I like to have certain stuff that is really just for me. It's just for the purpose of like, I wanna go out at night and um, you know, I wanna have like a date night or something with like my boyfriend or whatever it is. And I just wanna have like an outfit that I put together where I didn't think about the internet, <laughs> okay? It's, it, there's a lot to it. But when I get dresses like that, I spend a lot of money sometimes and it just doesn't make sense, right? So these are really affordable dresses that with just a tiny bit of tailoring could look like they literally cost me $500, right? Trust me, they don't cost anywhere near that. So I will have everything linked for you guys down below. Again, thanks so much to Fashion Nova for sponsoring this video. This stuff is so cute. This video was like the little confidence boost I needed because I don't know if you could tell, but like I was not entirely feeling myself. The last few weeks has just been like, sometimes it's just a lot, you know? It's just a lot. It's just a lot on top of a lot on top of a lot. And this is exactly what I needed. So if you want your own little comments boozy, you want to have your own little fashion show, go ahead and hit those links down below. Check their stuff out. Check out their new stuff. Um, I will probably post some more stuff on Instagram. But that's all I have. I also post on TikTok all the time in case. Well, I try to post all the time, but then TikTok like blocks my videos and they block probably over 50% of them now. And so it's like a little disheartening to like make content and then it doesn't actually get posted or gets posted three days later and only like 2,000 people get to see it, which is not that it's a tiny amount. It's just that like, that's not, you know, I'm putting a lot of effort into this. Um, so yada, yada, yada. I am on TikTok sometimes when I'm allowed to be according to TikTok. <laughs> you don't stop. So. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Check me out on those other platforms, like I said, um, if you would like. And that's all I have for you. I hope you have like a really amazing day. Hope you're having a great summer. Yes, it's hot, girl. We're out here. We're out here looking cute. Goodbye. Mwah.